Well, it's because we really are not omnivores. We are true herbivores. A few months after What the Hell's debuts, the big budget Hollywood production The Game Changers is released on the 19th of January 2018, promoting the same stupid idea. Just four days later, Peter writes the article claiming that humans are anatomically herbivores. Then, Earthling at the famous vegan influencer publishes a video with similar claims on the 28th of January 2018 and makes a free downloadable PDF in which he repeats them. So what happened? Did the brain fog kick in so hard that the meatless crowd finally lost its marbles? Or is it an elaborate scam? Just think about it. These guys have a vested financial interest to sell their products, receive donations, corporate sponsorships with wealthy investors in the background. So maybe they use an old salesman tactic to convert more people into their way of life and turn them into customers. And I get it. These people always look for new ways of attacking meat eaters. And obviously, with a genius plot twist, they could finally hold the ultimate weapon in the war on meat. After all, if it is true, then everything we knew about human biology is wrong. It would be the biggest discovery in the history of mankind. If it is true. There's a tiny tree shrew in Malaysia that regularly drinks fermented palm nectar, which has an alcohol content of 3.8%. Imagine if humans and tree shrews were actually related. Would that mean we should start the day with a morning tipple? I bet a lot of us would definitely be up for it. Love to believe what we want to hear, but what is our body ready to handle? It depends on who we are. So how do we compare to other animals? And here's the first problem. Compared to which animal? Look at this screenshot from a vegan YouTube channel. You're not a carnivorous predator? You must be a herbivore. Dumb as a box of rocks. But it's not just ignorance. This image is intentionally designed to deceive you. How? Let's start with the basics. <laughs> In biology, animals are classified into taxonomic ranks, and the basis of this grouping is a common ancestor, and certain traits the related species share. For example, a dog and a pig are similar in some ways, both are animals, vertebrates and produce milk for their offspring, but they have many anatomical differences, as they belong to a different order, family, genus and species. If we compare their teeth, we can see a big difference. Dogs have typical carnivorous dentition, while the teeth of the pigs have a more general purpose, quite like ours. Yet, both are omnivores. Well, we know that dogs love meat, and I'm sure that the farmers in New Zealand, whose goats keep getting eaten by feral pigs, will agree that Mr. or Mrs. Bacon is no herbivore either. You see where I'm going with this? 
look at these skulls. What's common in these animals? They all belong to the same taxonomic order, the order of carnivora, so their basic physiology is quite similar. Similar teeth, similar jaws, similar digestive system. Even those members of this order that don't eat meat at all, like this lovely chap here, the giant panda, have real badass fangs and claws that everyone typically associates with ripping a prey apart. This is why vegans compare humans to carnivorous animals, leaving out the fact that there are many animals in other biological orders that eat meat and look nothing like lions or wolves. Pigs, chimps, hamsters, pigeons, hedgehogs, chickens, rats, catfish, squirrels, turtles, frogs, baboons, humans and many more eat both plants and animals. No big deal. Most kids learn this at school around the age of 10. Nature is not black and white, unless you have an extreme agenda. Pretending that there are only two opposing choices in a complex question is called false dilemma, a logical fallacy, which wants you to make the conclusion that if one claim is false, then the other one must be true. This well-known fake news technique is often applied with another misinformation practice. Rinse and repeat. If you see something frequently, you're more likely to believe it. So if you keep telling people that the human anatomy is different from that of carnivores, they're more likely to accept the only other option you present them. One that perfectly fits your narrative. And not just a few bad apples, we're talking about some very well-known mainstream figures who can reach out to hundreds of millions of people. Vegan organizations, animal rights activists, plant-based documentaries, we're all in this together. Scam. Biologically and physiologically speaking, our bodies are more closely aligned to that of herbivorous animals rather than omnivorous animals. The Game Changers went down the same road, in probably the most embarrassing part of the whole movie, where they try to sell the idea that the human body has the design of a herbivore by comparing us to a... A lion! <laughs> What's next? We shouldn't swim, because our bodies aren't covered with scales. That would be silly, right? <laughs> so why does the most downloaded documentary on iTunes have to use such a cheap parlor trick in their sales pitch? You should ask James Cameron, the director of Terminator, Titanic and Avatar, and the producer of The Game Changers who invested $140 million in a company selling pea protein just before the movie came out. And what is pea protein used for? It's the main ingredient in many plant-based fake meat products like Beyond Meat and in vegan protein powders. Well, who am I to judge? If you bet your money on the processed food industry, you want to make sure you see a profit coming your way, don't you? Even if you have to twist the truth here and there? Every little helps, doesn't it? But if I'm not a lion, then who am I? Not a lion, not a hawk, not a sparrow, not a dog, not a horse, not a cat, not a rabbit, not a rat, not a walrus, not a goat, not a tortoise, not a toad, not a bear, not a bee, not a heron, not a flea, then who am I? Don't you lie Just tell me who I am 
Not the badger, not the bug, not the camel, not the pug, not the cricket, not the goose, not the hamster, not the moose, not the duck, not the tick, not the shark, not the chick, not the germ, not the mouse, not the worm, and not the louse. Who am I? Don't you lie? Just tell me who I am. Subscribe. Subscribe.